I'm John Tulenko of Education Week. The vast amount of data being collected in public schools has raised concerns over who will get to see it and how that data might be used. While reporting a piece for the PBS NewsHour, I had a chance to speak with privacy expert Joel Reidenberg of Fordham University Law School. Reidenberg was behind a groundbreaking 2013 study that found serious holes in school districts' contracts with tech companies. Here's more from our conversation. I hear all this information is being collected, but I'd like to know what are we talking about? So the kinds of information collected about children in school can be very deta detailed. It can range from things like um, behavioral information, disciplinary information, traditional things like grades, um, classroom performance. Increasingly though, in a technologically mediated classroom, so a classroom that has learning apps and is using a lot of technology in the school, metadata gets collected. And the metadata is information about how a child is interacting with the technology, interacting with a software program. And there are a lot of companies that are scrambling to get access to that data. They're, they're looking at it for development of commercial products, they're looking at it for uh, programs to try to assess whether teachers are performing uh, adequately, whether the kids are learning enough. They're looking at it to see how are children learning. So there are lots of reasons, but the question is, how are we going to structure that access so that it's fair, so that it's fair to the children, so that the children and their families aren't being used as guinea pigs. What do you think is the worst that could happen? Uh, the worst that can happen is uh, several forms of harm to children. Educational harms to children where they're, they are uh, tracked or they're Im improperly labeled because of bad data practices. Are there three simple steps that you would say ensures the data is being used in the right way? Okay, so, so step one, um, we look to protect all information about children that's being generated in the educational context. So the scope of coverage of what we're going to protect has to be broad. Second, we have to elaborate clear use restrictions. What, what do we see as permissible uses of this data generated from kids in school? Uh, third, we have to have some kind of flexible mechanism so parents with adequate information can consent and opt into additional uses of children's information. And I think these things are going to be critical uh, for us to have a semblance of preserving children's privacy. I'd put a fourth item in there as well, which is there have to be satisfactory remedies when children's information is misused. We have none today. You're talking about teeth. Yes, there has to be sanction. Right now the, san the sanction that exists in current law is totally ineffective. There's only one sanction in FERPA, which is the federal government can withhold funding to the school system if they're violating FERPA. In the 41-year history of the statute, it has never happened. The Supreme Court has said parents have no right of action. So if somebody violates, if a school district violates my, my child's privacy rights, if a vendor violates it, as a parent, I have no private right of action.